So what's our bait today? You, you the bait. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Woodbridge makes a living breeding leeches for medical use and regularly collects stock from the wild. So I've brought my waiters along to join him. How do I look? He's raising the bar for leech farmers. <laughs> Just grab a net. I might look like a seasoned pro, but today's my first ever leech hunt. So Brian's giving me a crash course. Just put your net in to check the depth and follow me. It is a bit slippery. Yeah. That's uh, the environment they like, a little bit mud on the bottom. They'll lay on the bottom and just go like that. And if they sense any movement, they'll uh, attack it. So you've, you've just got to move up and down, shuffle a bit in the mud, yeah. and run your net around you like that. Are you Australia's only leech farmer? As far as I know, yeah. So far, despite Brian's experience, good looking, they'll come. And my nervy attempt as bait, the leeches just are biting. But eventually they sniff out my fresh blood. I think I've got one. You what? I think I've got one. Oh, leech Dundee. Is that one? There it is. Yeah, that's him. He's, look, he's trying to actually get on my finger already. Yeah, he's on you now. It's amazing. All right, yeah, how do we safely catch this, this guy? Grab him. Yeah. If you don't grab him, he'll grab you. That's it. Wow. Got him. Successful leech hunters. We should do this for a living. I think he's trying to attach to my hand there, Brian. Is he? <laughs> do you mind using your fingernail to no. loosen him a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> you reckon it's better for him to bite me than you? Yeah. Oh, he's definitely having a nibble. Yeah. You can see he's getting a bit. He's getting bigger. Yeah. Shall we oh, yeah, pop him in the jar? So just get your fingernail under his... Suction cup, just remove him like that. Yeah. You're, you're bleeding. I'm bleeding. <laughs> it's this ability to make us bleed that surgeons across the country are interested in. Here at Sydney Hospital, Sarah Tolleton uses them to help restore blood flow after reconstructive surgery. How are you, Cole? Still kicking. Very good, thank you. So this gentleman actually had an injury with the drop saw. Um, that took off the middle finger and similarly uh, almost took off the ring finger. The hospital's medicinal leeches were key in helping to get the blood flowing. That's looking better. I've... And this is where you were swollen last week, wasn't it? Yeah, it was here. Veins are always the most challenging part of the microsurgery. That's because they're smaller. That's because they've got a lot thinner walls. The thin walls in a, in a vein allow them to dilate, which usually helps to get the blood flowing out of that reattached part. If the blood can't flow out of the finger, then it will start to swell. Eventually, cutting off the blood supply entirely, causing the finger to die. If you can't re-establish outflow from the finger, then what you will have is swelling, and that's when we would start thinking about leeches. To show us how these parasites are so effective at bloodletting, Kay has kindly offered up her arm as lunch. So it's just attaching, it secured itself with the back. This is its mouth. And I think we may have got a latch. Yes, I can feel the bite. Feels, feels okay. Every so often I have a pinprick, but essentially I can't feel anything which would be normal because of the anaesthetic that's in the saliva. The anaesthetic allows the leech to feed without its host noticing. Leeches are the ideal parasite to deal with venous obstruction because of the chemicals that have in their saliva that promotes the blood flow. The chemical cocktail in the leech's saliva is so potent that it delivers results that synthetic alternatives just can't match. The leeches would have been attached at the, the fingertip um, of the ring finger because that um, blood flow would have been getting in but not able to leave the finger. So we tend to put the leeches on the pulp here where you can see now it's nice and pink. That would have been engorged with the blood flow going in and that's where they would have their feed, drain that excess blood from the finger. Good little creatures, I tell you what. They were tiny little ones. When they get out, they were like my finger. 
But it was good. It was excited for me. The success of Cole's leech therapy shows just how powerful an ally parasites can be.